everybody, thanks for tuning in. We're at the Omni Shoreham Hotel in Northwest DC to cover Keeley's Boxing and Youth Center's third annual black tie fundraiser. We're gonna meet some famous boxers, we're gonna watch some boxing matches. It is gonna be a blast, so let's head inside. I'm the Director of Community and Public Affairs for WPGC and we've been having Killy's Boxing Club come on the air on their public affairs show for several years and one, more reason, one reason that we do that is because that they have an educational component and it's giving our children an opportunity to participate in something that is good for them because keeping them physical fit, you know, physically fit because we know that we have a whole issue with childhood obesity. And then the other thing is there's so many components that are great to this program that, you know, we need to highlight great things that are happening in the district and that, that can help parents and children. And what are you looking most forward to tonight? Oh, I'm looking forward to the fight. You know, I want to, I want to, I want to hear, let's, well, whatever the ring announcer, who is my colleague, the news director, uh, Guy Lambert from uh, the, the Donnie Simpson show, is the ring announcer. So I know that Guy has something really good to say. I'm here with Guy, our announcer for the evening, and we were just talking with Justine, and she said that you've got something up your sleeve tonight. I believe so. I've been practicing all day long. Now, I started last night. I woke up, I guess, about 2 o'clock in the morning, butterflies in the stomach. This is my first time as being a ring announcer. Um, but I, I've been working on a little something. Not Michael Bufferish, but something very <laughs> similar to it. We've now moved into the dining room. Everyone's finding their seats, and we've got another band in here, an Irish band, because later on, an Irish team is going to face off against a U.S. team right here in the center of the room. First, we're going to eat some food. The energy is going to continue to build. Everybody's excited. I'm excited. I can't wait. <laughs> We're over here at the VIP table. Joe Frazier and Larry Holmes have just sat down. Everyone's excited, they're flashing pictures, and they're posing for the fans. And what are you looking forward to tonight? I'm looking for these guys to fight like heck, you know what I mean? <laughs> these guys, I'm going to tell you, these guys, from my age, guys, these, they're strong. They do not mess around. They're very strong, and you got to be ready if you're going to get in the ring with them guys, because they're ready. They're on the road. They travel. That's all they do is fight. So who do you think is going to win? Well, of course, you know, we gonna, we, we're the strongest. We're always going to win. American teams always win. We beat them in everything. We are the toughest, the brightest, the smartest. And, you know, all we have to do is demonstrate it. And these guys practice what I just said. They're going to they're gonna be all right. <laughs> are you excited for tonight's fights? I'm ready for tonight's fights. Uh, it's good to, to really see some good amateur. I haven't seen them yet, but therefore I'm hoping to see some good moves because this game have to go back to one sanction. This game got to go back to one rules, you know. When I was there, guys like Marciano, guys like, uh, let's say, uh, Muhammad Ali, guys like Floyd Patterson, guys like Larry Holmes, you know, and myself and, and Bob, and, I mean, these great guys who made this game was great. And I don't know what they're doing today, but tonight I'll see what I'm going to see because what I want to do is come back to talk to the president to change this back to one rules. Then this, this is a beautiful game. Look at me, I came from South Carolina. I was a poor boy. Keely, this is an amazing event. Did you imagine such a big turnout? Oh my God, I mean, it's so wonderful. Look at the event turnout. Look at the people that's here. I mean, you know, and, I mean, we can't even get started on time. You got Joe Frazier, Larry Holmes here, all the city officials, ambassadors. We got reporters from all over. So, I mean, it's a wonderful event. Yes. And what's going to happen after dinner? Oh, well, after what's happening, they're going to show this big screen here. You see behind us what Keely Houston has accomplished through a whole year with the kids. And, re and the kids are going to re get rewards, and then it's going to be live boxing right here in this ring, boxing ring that we stand in. Irish team versus the U.S. team? Irish team versus the U.S. team. What do you think is going to happen? We're the best country in the world. United <laughs> States of America. Yes, we are. So they'll be victorious? We'll be victorious. 13 fights, we'll take, we'll take 10 home, they may take three. Wow. Yes. So what are you most looking forward to? Uh, what I'm most looking forward to, just to see the people here enjoy it. The kids here, the most important part. You know, we got Northern Ireland with the with, with the with the troubles going on in Northern Ireland. You got the Catholic and Protestants over there, you know, they're at war killing each other right now. We got right here in the United States, gang violence, you know. Uh, we got gangs and my youth in them. I mean, you know, you got MS-13, LC, the one four. 
I got all them kids together to be as one. So we came here to, to, to have peace. You know, everybody's going to be a winner here tonight. You know what I'm saying? There's going to be no losers. It's going to be a winner and losers as far as receiving the trophy awards. But it's going to be all going to be winners tonight. This is a historic night tonight for the kids. And I heard that you're moving your center. Yeah, the government, uh, Council Member Jim Graham is here today. They gave us a, a school building, you understand, because the, the, the church that we was in is too small, you know what I'm saying, because our program is spanning. You know, we, we did over 3,000 kids in the last four or five years. We lost two to games down. We sent off about 40 to 80 some kids off. In between that number, sent them off to college. These are kids nobody wanted to touch. They would change their life and we uplift them and look where we are today. And that church, is that where you trained? Oh, that's why I started my career when I was a little young man. I started my career right here in that same little church in the basement. Became a lightweight world champion and, um, you know, look, I had some restaurants. Now I'm, giving, now I'm, you know, I'm giving back. I mean, this is my way of giving back, right here in that same little church I was at. Maybe we can not expand it now and we got into a school building, but it's still, it's still in that same neighborhood. Jim, what do you think of tonight's event? Well, I think it's a spectacular cause. I mean, it really is because uh, Keeley and Bianca are really addressing issues of youth violence through a program, ironically enough, that has violence in the ring. Seeing the Irish team, which I fought the Irish Golden Gloves in 1971, and I happened to win the fight, and a lot of young guys out here now are trying to do the same thing that I've done, fight in the Golden Glove tournaments and become the heavyweight champion or the lightweight or the middleweight champion of the world. This is a great opportunity for them to give them a lot of different experiences to fight different people from around the country. It looks like you've been getting some kisses here tonight. You got some, you got some lipstick on your cheek. I, I, love, I love my fans. You know, my, my fans made me. And so therefore, I'm not going to walk away from them. I'm going to turn my back on them. I'm going to spend as much time as I would my friend because I can because they're the people that made you. So how could you not love them? I love them like a hog loves slop. <laughs> <laughs> this has been a phenomenal night. We got to talk with Larry Holmes, Joe Frazier. It doesn't get much cooler than that. So thanks for hanging out with us. I'm going to go watch the rest of the fights. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I've been trying to get through these sea of people that want to see you. 